The sky around us or the zodiac as it is called is an important concept in Vedic astrology, which is the study of celestial bodies and their impact on human lives. The zodiac is divided into twelve regions, called signs, each associated with a specific set of qualities and characteristics. In addition to the signs, the zodiac is also divided into twenty-seven regions called nakshatras, each with its own unique set of attributes. The entire sky enveloping the globe consists of 360 degrees, which is divided into twelve equal regions or zodiac signs. Each sign occupies 30 degrees. The twelve signs of the zodiac are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Each sign is associated with a specific element, fire, earth, air, or water, as well as a specific mode, cardinal, fixed, or mutable. The signs of the zodiac are often used to determine a person's moon sign, which is the sign that the moon was in at the time of their birth. The sign that was rising at the time of birth, also called ascendant, is most important in a Vedic horoscope and this information helps create a horoscope, which is a chart that shows the positions of the planets and other celestial bodies at the time of a person's birth with the ascendant at the center. In addition to the signs, the zodiac is divided into 27 regions, called nakshatras, each spanning across 13 degrees and 20 minutes of the zodiac. Each nakshatra is associated with a specific deity and has its own unique set of attributes and characteristics. The nakshatras are often used to provide more detailed insight into a person's personality and life path and are also used to determine auspicious times for important events such as weddings and religious ceremonies. The nakshatras are grouped into four padas, or quarters, each associated with a specific sign. For example, the first pada of the nakshatra Kritika falls in Aries, while the second, third, and fourth pada of Kritika fall in Taurus. This system allows for a more nuanced understanding of the impact of the nakshatras on a person's life. In Vedic astrology, the significance of a zodiac sign is that it is just an environment for the planets occupying it. The nature of the signs remains constant. But planets behave differently depending on the sign occupied, impacting a person's life accordingly. For example, the planet Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn which means that it behaves more positively and powerfully when it occupies the sign. Similarly, Jupiter is said to be debilitated in the sign of Capricorn, which means that it behaves in a more negative and weakened way when it is in that sign. Understanding the zodiac and its various components is an important part of Vedic astrology and can provide valuable insight into a person's life and potential. By analyzing the positions of the planets and other celestial bodies at the time of a person's birth, astrologers can guide everything from career and relationships to health and spirituality. In Vedic astrology, the zodiac signs play a crucial role in determining the nature and characteristics of the planets occupying them. Each sign has a distinct set of qualities and traits that influence the planets in different ways. A planet's placement in a particular sign can enhance or diminish its strength and also impact the overall effect it has on the individual's life. A zodiac sign is like an environment for the planet occupying it. The sign's characteristics and traits can either support or spoil the planets occupying it, affecting its expression and outcome in the chart. For instance, Mars is the planet of energy and action and is considered most comfortable in the sign of Aries, which it rules. Aries is a fire sign known for its dynamic, ambitious, and assertive nature. When Mars occupies Aries, it freely expresses its natural qualities fully. Mars feels at home in Aries and can function optimally, bestowing the individual with a strong drive, passion, and motivation. However, if Mars occupies a sign incompatible with the planet's nature, such as Cancer, a water sign, it can feel constrained and challenged. Cancer sign is nurturing, sensitive, and emotional, which can dampen Mars' fiery nature. In this case, Mars may struggle to express its natural traits and may feel frustrated, 
leading to potential conflicts and challenges in the individual's life. Likewise Venus, the planet of love and harmony, is exalted in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is a water sign known for its dreamy, imaginative, and compassionate nature. When Venus occupies Pisces, it can fully express its natural qualities of beauty, creativity, and sensuality, leading to a harmonious and fulfilling life. However, if Venus occupies a zodiac sign incompatible with the planet's nature, such as Scorpio, a water sign, it can feel challenged and restricted. Scorpio is a passionate, intense, and transformative sign which can dampen Venus' natural qualities. In this case, Venus may struggle to express its traits and face challenges in relationships and creative pursuits. The twelve zodiac signs are grouped under three categories based on their nature fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Each category has a particular set of qualities and traits that influence the planets. Fiery signs are passionate, energetic, and action oriented. Earth signs are practical, grounded, and stable. Air signs are intellectual, communicative, and social. Water signs are emotional, intuitive, and creative. The key takeaway from this episode is that a zodiac sign serves as an environment for the planet occupying it. The sign's characteristics and traits can affect the expression of a planet and reflect its effect on the individual's life. Understanding the interplay between the planets and the signs is crucial in Vedic astrology, as it helps identify the individual's strengths, weaknesses, and potential challenges in life. It helps one figure out what feature of his life needs to work on, what requires attention and focus, and what aspects need to be ignored. In the upcoming episodes, we will discuss one zodiac sign with all its nakshatras at a time. If you enjoyed this video, Kindly share it with your friends and loved ones. Thanks. Stay tuned and keep watching.